Caleb, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tiffany Tucker. I think those motorcycle riders have the timing of our show. They did that on purpose. They I'm did. Chris Fry. We're live, of course, from outside the Thirsty Parrot. Thousands of fans have been out here all day long, of course, for baseball. And a moment in time, Tiffany, we will never forget. As much of Northeast Ohio is still celebrating we just had a yep, flyover. Yeah, flyover, yes. A there lot it is. going on wow. here. This is a lifetime event. The total solar eclipse. It was absolutely amazing. It was breathtaking. It was everything I hoped for, I know. I mean, I'm overwhelmed just with everything that's flyover. going on right now. I mean, the explosions, flyovers, total solar eclipse. I don't know how to handle it right now. Um, <laughs> hey, we're... we're moments away from the Guardians first pitch they're taking on the Chicago White Sox. All right, Harry Boomer has been out here talking to Guardians fans. <laughs> Boomy. Got to tell you, it is very exciting out here today. Lots and lots of sound. We've got fireworks going off. C-130 just flew over a progressive field, just finished the national anthem, and folks are out here right now still going in. The stands are filling up. When I got out here earlier today, there were hardly anybody here, but now you see it is filling up for the home opener today here in Cleveland. The uh, Guardians taking on the White Sox. We expected to win this, and they were first in our division. They're last in our division. And then, of course, the sun, the moon, and earth align for win. Is that, that is my prediction today. Had a chance to talk to a couple of really true baseball fans, and here's what they had to say about today. Cleveland's going to win big. Opening day, they have to do it. Tristan's yeah. going to do a number on those guys, so White Sox haven't got a chance. All right. Now, you know, we got this total eclipse thing happening. Yeah. You think that's going to make the sun, the earth, and the moon align? <laughs> you know, we, hope, <laughs> we hope nothing serious happens. Yeah, yeah. Eight of a query, you know. Right. <laughs> Very good. It'll be, it'll be good for the for the Guardians slash Indians. It's tough to say Guardians, though. <laughs> All right. In time, maybe. Huh? Yeah. In time, yes. All right, as you can see, we have folks who have been longtime uh, Indians fans and now Guardians fans, and they just love this baseball team, love this town. And what's not to love about Cleveland? We had a total eclipse of the sun, and now we've got a baseball team that's going to win tonight. My prediction, mark my word, live at Progressive Field. I'm Harry Boomer, 19 Hughes. Oh, Harry, I hope you are right. Hey, Guardians fans, home opener celebration may have been eclipsed by Shane Bieber's injury. That was that was an incredible bummer by the team and a gut punch to the fans. Mark Schwab live outside progressive field with more. Oh, man, just a damper to an incredible start to the season, Mark. Yeah, I know. It's been amazing the way they've they've won baseball games. They've scored a ton of runs, and Bieber had two starts, and he looked like he was back to Cy Young form. And we got that news yesterday that, eh, the elbow's still not right, and he's going to need surgery, and he is out for the year. So there have been a lot of arm injuries recently in baseball, and it's had people wondering, what about the pitch clock? Does the pitch clock have something to do with this? It was put in last year. Pitchers have to work quicker. And even just those little moments in between where the arm doesn't get as much rest in between throws, people are wondering, is that a problem? Stephen Vogt was asked about that today. I don't have an opinion on the pitch clock as far as that goes. I, I'm not a doctor, and I don't know how that all works. Um, it's all, it was a big change for everybody. I know that. Um, whether or not that has direct implications on the arm injuries, we won't know for another eight to 10 years after research and things of that nature. But, um, you know, there's been, there's been people that have gone down with elbow injuries a lot over the last few years. There's just been a lot of big names recently, and, and it hits close to home for us right now. So with Bieber out, it's Tristan McKenzie, who is like the veteran of this staff now. And, He's not really their best pitcher right now. You might say Tanner Bobby. We'll see what happens to some of the other kids. If Tristan gets back to form the way he was in 2022, he would look like that kind of guy. But he's their most experienced guy going forward. He's on the mound against the White Sox today in the home opener. Reporting live at Progressive Field, Mark Schwab, 19 